Hello again, everyone, and welcome back. Well, today we're gonna revisit a cigar that was my number three cigar of last year, the Mi Curita Tricky Trocky in the 648 size, that is. That was the number three cigar for me for 2020. Today, we're looking at the 552. As you can probably guess, it's 5552. So it's the same cigar, same blend, a little fatter and a little shorter. What will that do? Well, we'll see. Now, this cigar consists of a broadleaf, a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper over Nicaraguan binder and a, a combination of Nicaraguan and Dominican fillers. Again, the two sizes that it comes in are the number 552, which is what we're doing today, and the number 648, which I did last January. Feel free to look back at that review. That cigar is 6x48. Uh, tricky Traki, Traka, Tricky Traka means large firecracker. And uh, that's what uh, originally this was taken from the uh, Mi Carita firecrackers and that was a very short little three inch cigar so this is a takeoff offshoot of that cigar into larger versions got it there's the density and you know about as much about it as as i do check the blog for all the details but uh how about let's just get right to it the Mi Querida Tricky Traca number 552. Several of you commented that you like seeing the chief in the background, so there he is. So I'm going to sit over here to a side and uh, share the stage with him. Now, uh, this is a cigar that has a decent feel in the hand. Nice target dome cap there. Very good draw, always a welcome sign, always good. similarities between the two. This has more of a citrusy cedar. <clears throat> nice brown sugar, a little cinnamon, a lot of uh, a lot more leather. Uh, there's nutmeg and leather, not a leathery nutmeg. It's a separate. And the leather is very worn type of leather. There are hints of caramel. And there's a pretty nice black coffee base. Black pepper at about seven and a half. So it's a very nice start. These cigars are going to be similar. I'm looking for some, uh, subtle differences, so we'll see if there are some. But uh, that's how we start. First third. There is more of a leathery nutmeg now. Same flavor notes are there. You do get a nice, primarily cedar with some citrus influence right up front. The brown sugar, the cinnamon's right there. Caramel undertones, caramel notes to give it some smooth sweetness. The leathery nutmeg is also smooth. Appears to taste a little dense and pasty. Of course, you got your black coffee base and uh, a nice black coffee base. It's probably, you could call it medium to full bodied even now. The finish is a lot of that nutmeg and leather. Nutmeg and leather. More nutmeg than leather. And actually, a little bit of the caramel aspects. A very nice lingering black pepper. I seem to be getting more of a nutmegish influence in this larger ring cigar than I did the 648. 
but that's the only major difference. The, the 648 also had more of a straightforward citrus. This is more of a cedar with slight citrus influence, but it's still very good. I'm rating first third 94. Uh, many of you have already had this cigar. You probably like it. I, I don't know anybody that does it, but uh, for me, it's a 94 for the first third. Second third, burning pretty evenly, don't you think? Here in the second third, the cigar took a big swing upward. The sweetness multiplied many times. The leathery nutmeg got very manageable, and it's the all the flavors work very good together. They are very evenly matched, and uh, they mix very well. The finish really hasn't hasn't changed. The flavors in the cigar haven't changed, but the intensity has. Medium to full, probably leaning over towards full body, but uh, it's just very noticeable here in the second third that things really change. I'm raising the score to a very respectable ninety six. Very good right now. And uh, I don't mind cigars that start out good and get better. I mean, who does? Who 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 would argue with that? So we're doing moving along very well. I didn't mean to change my perspective on you. I'm straight ahead. And uh, hey, if you like these reviews, as I said earlier in another review, I need your help this year to maintain this pace of multiple reviews all week there's a link below this video and you can go to the blog and i need you to uh, help me out and donate some some money so that i can keep these reviews going strong all year long so think about that and let's move on to the final third to the end so let's wrap it up well here in the end it sort of reverted back to somewhat the way it was in the first third now here in the final third I had a nice cedar and brown sugar and the cinnamon and the light caramel but the coffee notes rose the leathery nutmeg became more prominent in a lot of ways it reverted back Score wise, it reverted back. I'm going back to 94 for the final third. Finish has a lot more coffee on it. Some caramel, but more coffee and leathery nutmeg. Full body. Overall, very good cigar. Your overall score is 94.67. Comparing the two, the, uh, the 648 received 96. This is 94.67, and I believe that's where it should be. Obviously, I prefer the 648 a little better. Maybe it's a smaller ring. Both very good cigars, though. So that'll do it. The Mi Querida Tricky Traca, number 552, 94.67.